one time, Torvius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun time girl's not gonna be here for the video! No! Welcome to Child Fun Time, boys and girls. Today we're gonna talk about non Newtonian fluid. What that means is it's a fluid that does not follow the law of viscosity. So the fluid that we're gonna create today is really cool, and I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it. Orange? Yeah, and we've got orange, and what color do we have? Pink. Right, so we're gonna make two different colors, and you can do this really easy. Really cheap at home with the help of Funtime Mom and Dad where you live. Well, let's get started. And, and to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the liquid and we're gonna pour it into this cup right here. And then we're gonna add our cornstarch to our container. We're gonna mix it with this. We're gonna put some paint inside the liquid, inside the water. And that paint is going to help us color our non-Newtonian fluid. And then we're gonna play with it. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Are you guys ready for fun? Are you ready for fun? Mix. Mix, mix, mix. All right, fun time girl, can you tell us what's going on today? Um, we're making non toyan fluids. We're gonna make what color? Orange. And what other color? Green. And we're gonna do that with Orange. what? What's this? Cornstarch. Very good, and we're gonna add some water to the cornstarch, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna have a cool fluid and we're gonna play with it, aren't we? Try. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Look at the kids back home and say, are you ready, kids? You ready, kids? I'm ready. Let's do it! Let's do it! All right, kids back home. So the first color we're going to do today is... Orange. Orange. Very good. We're going to do orange first. And this is our orange color. So the recipe calls for one to two cups of water per box of cornstarch. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? two cups and we're going to put this off to the side. Then we're going to take our orange and we're going to pour some of our orange neon paint into our water. Oh, well. We're going to mix it up. All right, so now we've got our mixture and we're going to add a box of cornstarch to our container here and then we're going to mix it up. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this! Okay, you go ahead and open the box real quick. There we go, that's the bag of cornstarch. Let's pour it. Pour in the cornstarch. Put it on it. Yep. All right, we got it all in there. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it back in the box so we can get rid of this box and you know throw it in the trash and recycle it however we can do in our neighborhood. So, now we're gonna add the liquid, but first I wanna show you kids back home what it looks like the way that it is right now. So right now it's like a powdery substance. It's a weird feeling powder, but it's still a powder. And now we're gonna add the fluid in and we're gonna create the non-Newtonian fluid. So we're gonna just pour a little bit in and we're gonna mix it up. We're just gonna keep doing that and add in just a little bit at a time until we get the non-Newtonian fluid that we're trying to get, which is kind of forming in the middle already. It's pretty cool. All right, kids back home. So we've already started mixing it and I wanted to show you what the non-Newtonian fluid's doing while I'm trying to mix it. So I go to mix it with the fork, and this is what I get. And if I put the fork underneath it and I lift it, it just turns into a liquid, right? But then when I try to mix the liquid, it breaks into these clumps because it acts like a solid. Here, fun time girl, you take the fork. I want you to mix it some, and I want you to tell me what, it, tell the kids back home what it feels like to mix it. Hot. It's hard? Yeah. It's kind of hard to mix non-Newtonian fluid once you actually start making it because the harder you push it, the harder it pushes back. So if you want to mix it like a liquid, you have to mix really slow. Well, boys and girls, fun time girl, drop the fork inside of the mixture once we were finished mixing it. And you see how it's oozing off the fork. So if we pick it up like that and we let it go, it just oozes down and it kind of creates this creamy pink color you're gonna see in a minute because I'm gonna bring the camera in and I'm gonna show you a close-up. But basically, if I put this under and I do this, I can get a giant chunk of this stuff, even though it looks like liquid when you see it on the camera. So if I if I grab it really fast, I can create like a ball out of it. But then the second that I stop, the ball disappears. Now if I were to punch it, I can't I can't make it splatter. It doesn't splatter because when I hit it, it gets harder all of a sudden. 
And I think you're gonna see in a second when I bring the, the camera in for a close up. But first I'm gonna have to go wash my hands because this stuff is sticky! Can you say sticky? Yes, yeah, sticky. Sticky. So if we run it across like this, you can see it kind of separates as you do it, but it separates like a solid and not like a liquid. And if I grab it and I pull it up, you can see it pulls up giant clumps like a solid and not like a liquid. And if I smack it, it doesn't splatter like you'd expect a liquid to splatter. As a matter of fact, if I run the fork across the top of it like this, it barely even breaks the surface. Okay, but look, watch this, when I set the fork in, it just melts right down into it. Just like that. And then if I pull on it, it takes a chunk up all at once. Wow, that's really cool stuff. And then you put your hands in it. Then you put your hands in it, it sticks. Yeah, it will stick to your fingers. So if you put your fingers in and you let it break the surface tension, and once you're under the surface, it gets sticky. That's the thing, you see, the surface is always like a liquid. I mean, that's what it seems. And the bottom, or the stuff inside, is not always like a liquid. So let's just pour that in now. You can kind of watch how, it, how easily it pours, because it's like a, it's like a fluid. Look, it pours right into the jar. It's very cool. But if I tried to push it, it would crumble. It's a liquid, but it's also a solid. When I rub my fingers across it to try to help the fluid go faster, like you might do with a slow fluid usually, it turns into more like a solid powder and it won't come off. So I just have to let it run. All right, I'm gonna put this cap on and we're gonna pull this back out when we're done and then we're gonna have a lot of fun and play with it, okay? We'll put it over here until then and maybe I'll try to shake it. What? It didn't shake up? Are you kidding me? How do you shake a non-Newtonian fluid? You ready? You want to shake it? Yes. Ready? Help me. It didn't shake. What are we going to do? I got an idea. Give me okay. more. All right, go ahead. Ready? Shake. Nope, no shaking. Just so you can see that it's actually a fluid, I'm going to turn it on its side so you can watch it roll into the halfway mark. So it's a fluid. But, you can't shake it because it's non-Newtonian. Very cool stuff. All right, so we're gonna mix the green now and then we're gonna play with them together and mix two different pools or puddles of them and play with some toys in them and stuff like that with some more slow motion. All right, so now we're gonna mix the green but we're probably gonna fast forward through some of it because there's no need for you to really see me mix it because it takes quite a while to mix it. So we'll fast forward through that part and we'll just get to the end when we get to play with it. Are you guys ready to mix? Are you ready to mix? Right, let's do this. Fun time boy, can you squeeze a little paint in for me? Just a little bit in here. Good, squeeze. Ready, squeeze. There you go, good job. This time we're gonna open this box and I'm gonna have Fun Time Boy open it because I promised him before that he could help us. Here you go, Fun Time Boy, open the box. Open the box. It's very strange mixing non-Newtonian fluid because of the way that it acts when you try to mix it. So this stuff is a lot the same as the other stuff. If you go across it, it creates kind of like a rough cut. It's a little bit different because I mixed it with less water, so it's got a little bit more rigidity to it, but it's still basically the same principle. All right, kids back home, now we have an entire container full of non-Newtonian fluid. And it's so cool, I can actually take it and flip it upside down. Oh, didn't do it quite quick enough, but almost. But basically you can flip it upside down and if you do it fast enough, it won't come out of the container because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Very cool, huh? You can do the same thing with shaking it. I can't get it to shake. Here, watch this. Take your hand out. Ready? Shake it this way. Can't get it to come out because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. 
If I splat it, you expect it to go everywhere like if you splat in water, right? Because it's a fluid, but it's not. But no, if I smack it, it doesn't do anything. It hardens and keeps my hand from being able to penetrate the fluid. I can punch it, I can smack it, and it still don't come out and splash. Yeah, but if you put your hand in it and you hold it, then you wind up stuck to it like gooey, ooey, ooey. it. If I take it and I throw it, it doesn't immediately mix in. It kind of, kind of mixes in, but it doesn't mix in. It just like hits and then it melts into place. Thanks for watching Kids Back Home. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment so you can see more cool videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Watch our other videos.